he was little, Neil Armstrong loved planes. He went with his dad to an air show and decided he would become a pilot. When Neil was older, he became a test pilot. His job was to fly experimental planes to see how they would fly. Even though his job was dangerous, he loved flying planes. In 1962, he got a new job working for NASA and began training to become an astronaut. It was a difficult program, but he was very excited that he was chosen. Neil Armstrong was chosen to fly the Gemini 8. They made it into space, but the trip was cut short because the capsule began to roll. In 1968, Neil was given another chance to fly as a pilot of the Apollo 11. This was a very exciting mission because it would put the first man on the moon. The Apollo 11 spacecraft launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on July 16, 1969. The landing was a success and the spacecraft settled on the surface of the moon. On July 21st, 1969, Neil Armstrong was the first to climb off the spacecraft and the first man to walk on the moon. He said, that's one small step for man and one giant step for mankind. Neil's co-pilot, Buzz Aldrin, also walked on the moon, while Michael Collin orbited the moon in his ship. The three astronauts landed safely back on Earth in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th. Numerous reporters, cameras, and other, many others documented the amazing event. The United States of America was the first country to walk on the moon. 600 million people watched the astronauts walk the moon on their televisions, and the footprints left by these men can still be on the moon today. Thanks to these great astronauts and the incredible work of the many people who helped make these events possible, we know more about the moon and outer space today.